Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from out and about in the Memphis area. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a complete look at your forecast from the News Channel 3 mobile studios. We're showing again there's some beautiful conditions for this morning, a little bit on the cloudy side out across much of the Mid-South area as we have, again, some decent amounts of clouds, but also a little bit of sunshine up there and not much to worry about, at least yet, where it comes to rainfall. But if you're heading out the door and won't be back until, say, tomorrow, you may want to go ahead and take the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side to make sure you don't get too soaked out there. If you're just joining us, if you've never stopped by here before, this is our video weather blog. This is where we keep you informed with what's going on on your schedule. No matter where you are, you can take a look and download weather information from the Mid-South area. You can find out more details at the website right above my head at wreg.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, or most importantly, ideas. If you have any ideas about what you would like to see on here so we could feature it for you so you can keep tuning on back, whether it's more local weather or worldwide weather or climate data or or whatever, let me know about it right here. Kind of hard to see with the white background. I'm going to have to put something back there so you can see it properly, but it's austin.onic at wreg.com. If you'd like to see a little bit more about what's going on, please contact me let me know, and I'd be glad to let you know more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South. Let's take a look and see what's going on with radar this morning. We do not have anything really major taking place, again, where we are directly in the Mid-South, but we are monitoring a few scattered showers, and it looks like a few rumbles of thunder taking place back around the Desert area, Hazen, just to the north of I-40 at this time, and right around the Fredonia area. That's where we're seeing the possibility of a few scattered showers taking place here. Again, we don't have any threat of severe weather, but we do see the possibility of more showers and some thunderstorms increasing as we get into the course of the next couple of days. And these have been moving up from the southwest and will continue to do so. And it looks like a little bit more activity continuing to make its way into around the area very close to just to the west of Forest City. So some developing showers here. And that could be, again, the problem that we see into the course of the rest of the day, especially if you're heading back to the west of us. But directly across much of the Mid-South area, from Dyersburg to Oxford and from Jackson, Tennessee to Forest City, Arkansas, we're just not seeing anything in the way of problems with rainfall at this time, but definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. What do we have going on out there? Well, the main thing that we've been looking at is, of course, the river levels, which are continuing to rise across much of the Mid-South area, and we'll continue to see, again, that particular uh, level of activity going on as we get into the next couple of days. The major flooding taking place over toward areas of the White, the Cache, the Black, the Little Red River, the St. Francis River, and of course the Mississippi. That's where we're seeing again the heaviest activity. Tunica at this time at the river cutoff uh, part of the Tunica River Park is going to be seeing the heaviest possibility of some flooding into the course of the next couple of days. It's heading for uh, moderate flood levels, not anywhere close to what we saw in 2011, but once again, this area does happen to get quite a lot of flooding when all that water drops on downstream, so it looks like it's going to be cresting on about the area of this Saturday morning at about 47 and a half feet, so that's something, again, we're going to be watching at her news channel 3 uh, to see what's going on out there. Current stage at 46.15 feet. You can get this information through the National Weather Service in Memphis, you can go to water.weather.gov for more information about what to look for out there when it comes to flooding information in the Mid-South, whether it's reservoirs, lakes, creeks, streams, whatever like that. The National Weather Service does a good job of keeping track of stuff like that. And for some reason, it looks like we are having a <clears throat> bit of a connection problem, excuse me, for this morning with uh, that. So we're going to reload this page and go on to the hazardous weather outlook. We'll come back to the Memphis flood report here in just a little bit. Could be the possibility of some strong to severe weather as we get into Thursday night for parts of the area. That's something, again, we're going to be watching uh, out for as this storm system gets a little bit closer to us. The next one we're going to be watching, it's not much. National Weather Service to get it a two out of five, so it's not huge, but definitely something we need to pay attention to on there. Uh, let's see, water is still not coming up, so we'll go on to our satellite picture at this time and showing again a few clouds drifting over the area. We're not looking at a lot of activity, but again, for parts of the Mid-South, that's where we're seeing, again, a few clouds drifting on through this view from Penn State's meteorological group and showing again some fairly like, quiet conditions out there where it comes to cloud cover. Uh, still not getting a connection. I apologize for this, but this is something we should have... Okay, well, that's been that type of morning. All right, so we'll just move on to the forecast. If you'd like to know more about the uh, detail for the National Weather Service and the river levels, again, water.weather.gov is the place to go to. New storm system coming in from out west. 
Lots of rainfall from the Great Lakes down to the Great Basin and across the Rio Grande Valley as well up into the Missouri River Valley. That's going to be the case for today. That storm system gets a little bit more organized and heads our direction. The main energy of this storm system goes north of us into around the Missouri River Valley up around I-70. And then as it moves into the Mid-South, it's going to be getting a little bit more organized, a little bit more energy, so more chances of showers and thunderstorms. It's going to be late Thursday into early Friday that we see the storm system getting closer to us rapidly up all that energy and seeing again the possibility of heavier thunderstorms coming on through. So that's what we're going to be looking for for the next couple of days as the system gets a little bit closer to us. Now, if you have any plans outdoors uh, Thursday into Friday, next couple of days, that's where we're going to be seeing the possibility of more rainfall out there. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Let's see what we have in the forecast for today. High temperatures, again, mid to upper 80s, some of the warmest temperatures that we have seen so far across the area, but not seeing anything in the way of concentrated amounts of rainfall for today. Tonight, low temperatures dropping into the lower to mid 60s and more chances of rain start to make their way in toward early tomorrow morning. More chances of showers and thunderstorms overspread the area as we get into around early tomorrow afternoon and evening isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. High temperatures tomorrow remain warm, but just a little cooler thanks to the extra cloud cover out there, which is going to be fairly thick in some locations, so we'll be seeing more possibilities of problems there. Thursday night, low temperatures back in the lower 60s with widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms overspreading much of the area as we get into around the early evening hours and especially into early morning on Friday. But by then, hopefully everything will be on its way out as we look for more chances of rainfall leaving the area, but it's going to take several hours for that to take place. High temperatures on Friday will be a little bit cooler back in the lower 70s or so. Now by Friday night, low temperatures even cooler back in the lower 50s, and those chances of rain while lingering early during the evening will be gone by the time we hit midnight, so we won't need the umbrella into Saturday morning. Saturday's highs look beautiful, very close to normal back in the mid to upper 70s, and plenty of sunshine out there with just a few clouds. Sky cover about maybe a single digit percentage rate out there for the most part and double digits here and there, but that just means a little bit of cloud cover and that's about it. And for Sunday, high temperatures once again going back into the mid to upper 70s to around the lower 80s. So again, a beautiful look at the forecast as we get into the course of the next few days, and especially Sunday's high temperatures again, looking pretty good across much of the Mid-South with numbers quite mild, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, and even on down toward uh, Oxford, Clarksdale, and Tupelo in the lower portion of your screen right here, we should see again some very mild conditions out there through Sunday. So if you have outdoor activities for this Sunday, things are looking pretty nice all the way on through, so not really too much of a problem. How about severe weather? Again, the main threat for today is going to be well back to our north and west, south of Chicago. Chicago, back through Kansas City, north of St. Louis, south of Des Moines, Wichita, Dodge City, Kansas. The enhanced risk is in around Lawton, Oklahoma, and into around southwestern Oklahoma, close to the Red River, and then all the way on down to the Rio Grande. A couple of severe thunderstorm watches overnight and some showers and thunderstorms over the Kansas-Oklahoma state line. Rest of the next couple of days, Again, the possibility of seeing that threat of severe weather heading our direction, but it's going to be, again, nothing at this time. A marginal threat, that means severe weather is possible. It's just not entirely too likely for some areas. Now, if this goes up to a slight risk category, again, this is going to be something that needs to be watched because these forecasts will change one way or the other over the course of several days' time. You can't tune in on a Monday and expect things to be the same by next Sunday, so you have to stay up to date on this. So this is the forecast that you see here for tomorrow. That's going to be giving us, again, a marginal threat of severe weather, and that'll be for Thursday. Friday's threat is, again, not really too much to worry about. The light green indicates where we see the potential of just generic thunderstorms. The marginal threat that you see into the dark green area here from Louisiana all the way back up to the Carolinas, that's the highest threat that we see for Friday, and that's, again, a more marginal possibility of severe weather into and around those particular areas. But for Friday, the threat basically is gone, leaves the Mid-South area, and does not come back once again. Taking a look ahead into the weekend as we go through the days 4 through 8 outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, which you can get online as well. This is, again, a great place to go to for that sort of distant early warning for the possibility of severe weather. And as you can see, from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
Tuesday and next Wednesday. We're not seeing anything at this time in the way of actual severe weather for the area. The predictability at this time is just too low, so we're just not picking up too much of anything out there to worry about, which is definitely good news, again, for outdoor activities. Memphis and May in full swing if you're getting outdoors for the weekend. Lots of graduation activities going on, so if you have that happening, that, again, is a bit of uh, something to take a look at out there across much of the Mid-South area, so not seeing anything else out there in the way of major problems. Stop by my Facebook page for more information, Facebook.com com slash austinonic w-r-e-g if you have any questions concerns ideas we post everything on here uh, if you do have uh, suggestions about hummingbirds what i would like to do at home the idea is going to be putting a hummingbird feeder out the window and then having a webcam looking out the window at the hummingbird feeder so you can see the house on a hummingbird feeder whenever you want to during the daytime but i'm a newbie when it comes to stuff like this so if you have any suggestions about what you think would be a good idea for nectar whether it's proportions of sugar to water where to place this thing uh, additives, some people do, some people don't, stuff like that. Go to this article, it's pinned to the top of the page, and let me know what you think about this, and it'd be a great opportunity for you to take a look and see what is available out there. And again, this is, I'm really big on things like science, but I am not too huge on anything involving uh, hummingbirds, so I could use a little bit of help on this. If you have anything like that, please let me know. Also, don't forget to check out my uh, Twitter page. That's available at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. And whatever you do, if you're watching this on YouTube this morning, thanks for dropping by, but please feel free to share and to also subscribe to my YouTube page so we can get everybody informed as to what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South. would really like to have you along for the ride on that. Once again, if you have questions or concerns, again, right here, the email address at austin.onic at wreg.com. Uh, forecast information in the blue bar here, red bar down at the bottom, that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that, social media type things. If you'd like to contact me there, be feel free to do so. We can't make this your weather blog unless we know more about what you want to see on here so thank you guys very much for stopping by and keeping an eye on things i'll have an update on the rest of the forecast again coming up later on tonight so stay tuned for more with news channel three there todd demers will have more coming up on live at nine and also on news channel three at noon tim and jim have your forecast throughout the rest of the evening on news channel three and of course i'll be on with all kinds of stuff on the internet throughout the rest of the day so thanks for stopping by and keeping an eye on what's going on with our video weather blog weather overtime thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more with news channel three on air and online throughout the rest of the day